everyone, welcome back to my channel, or if you're new, welcome. My name is Faith. Thank you so much for being here. Today I am bringing you my nursery room tour. I know that I've talked about doing this for a few weeks now, and I'm finally getting around to it. Everything is put together and ready for baby Drew to arrive. I'm currently 37 and a half weeks right now. When this video goes up, I'll probably be like 38 weeks. So we are getting really, really close, and I'm happy that everything is put together and organized finally. So in this video, I'll be sharing with you where I got everything from. Everything will be linked down below in the description bar. I'll also be sharing with you how I organized things and just inspiration in general. And if you are new here, I don't know what our baby is, if it's a boy or a girl. So this nursery is completely gender neutral, really natural, nice colors, very relaxing. I love it. It's like my favorite room in the house right now. So this can totally work for boy or girl. You can just add in your blues or pinks or whatever colors you want to. This is also a pretty small space that I'm working with. I don't know the exact dimensions, but if I had to guess, it's like 12 feet by 12 feet or something like that. So it's not super big. So if you're working with a smaller space, I think that these items that I've picked up, like the dresser, the crib, and the bigger items, they all fit in here well. So if you're looking for some design help for a small space, hopefully this video is helpful. I'm actually going to get behind the camera now and go through each corner, every nook and cranny of the nursery so that you guys can see everything, see how I've organized it, and yeah, hopefully just get some inspiration. If you are watching this video because you're looking to put together a nursery, congratulations. Let me know down below in the comments if you know if you're having a boy or a girl, or if you're like me and you don't know. Quickly before I jump behind the camera, I did just want to say again, if you're new here, thank you for being here, and I would love it if you would consider subscribing to my channel before you leave. I have a ton of pregnancy videos on my channel and a few more coming up, but of course once baby Drew gets here we'll be doing mommy videos and things like that, so I'd love it if you became a part of the family. But that is it, let's get into the nursery tour. So we have a little guest with us. This little guy wants to come in this room all the time and he's not allowed. So I'm just gonna start with where I was kind of standing in the intro here. These curtains, they're kind of like linen. You see here, they kind of have like a linen look and feel to them, but they were not expensive. They were right off of Amazon. And then I also got this rod from Amazon and these clips. I found that these clips just make it look a little bit nicer than just putting the curtain right on the rod. I just like those little circle clips. So I got those off Amazon again, and I'll link those down below if you're interested. This basket, I actually, my mom gave to me, so it's not something you can get in store now, but I will link a bunch like this, very similar, down below in case you're looking for something like this. And I filled it with a bunch of toys. Obviously, baby Drew won't really be able to play with these for quite a bit. I might end up moving this and actually putting something else here, like maybe a taller bookshelf, because I still don't know where I'm going to mount my camera, like the, what's it called? baby cam. Um, I don't really have a place to mount that yet, so this corner might change a little bit, but for now it's just a toy basket with toys and a couple little stuffed animals there. And then we get to the crib. This is a Da Vinci crib. I will link it down below. I love it. I think it's perfect. It's gender neutral. It has clean lines, so it's not too girly. Like some of the ones that were more rounded, I really liked, but kind of thought they were a little bit girly, so if it ends up being a boy, like later on down the road because this does convert into a twin bed. The boy might, might not like it. And like I said, it does convert. So I think it converts to both a toddler bed and a twin bed. This blanket my mom knit, oh, I love it. I'm obsessed with it. She put her little Love Lulu signature. She's gonna be called Lulu. Obviously, when the baby is sleeping in here, I won't be able to keep this in here just for safety reasons, but just to have it on the crib right now. I just love looking at it. This sheet is from Pottery Barn. I can't remember what exactly it's called, something like oatmeal dots or something like that. And I actually have another sheet I'll show you stored away that's a completely different print from a different brand. And then this crib skirt as well is from Pottery Barn. I will link that too. I love it. It's like a linen and it has little white 
aero sort of designs on it. I showed both of these stuffed animals in one of my gender neutral baby hauls or something like that. This one is actually from Cabela's. Nick and I were walking around Cabela's and they had this little stuffed animal and I wanted it so bad. And then this bunny Nick's mom got us, this is from Hallmark. So I can definitely link both of these if you like them. And of course those again won't stay in the crib once the baby is in there, but just for looks right now, I like having them in there. And then my favorite part of the room by far are these three paintings. These, you guys, my mom painted. Yes, I did not buy these. Well, I had to buy the frames and the mats and I'll tell you where I got those, but the paintings themselves, my mom painted. We have a little ducky a little baby bunny and a baby deer. The baby deer is my favorite, I love it. She is seriously so talented. I'm pretty sure it's watercolor that she does to do these, um, but she's just so amazing. So the frames and the mats we got from Hobby Lobby. The color scheme in here is definitely just white and gold. You'll see a little bit more gold as we go through the room. I love the little bit of contrast it gave. At first I was thinking maybe to do white frames, but I like that we did gold because I think it just makes them pop on the wall a little bit more. So then if we turn to this corner, I have a tall lamp here and my diaper genie. And then we move to the dresser and the changing table and I have a mirror. This mirror actually my mom gave to me. So again, you can't get it right now, but I will find similar mirrors and link them for you. This is just a traditional changing pad that I've put in this little uh, holder. This is the brand Summer Infant, I believe, changing pad. And then this is from a brand called Little Seeds. It's like a holder. So it just looks nicer on the dresser. And then this dresser is the Da Vinci Jaden dresser. It actually came with just regular white knobs, but I changed them out for gold knobs and I think it looks 100 times more expensive and cute. I will link where I got the knobs. I just got them on Amazon. They were really not that expensive. I totally think it was worth it to change out the knobs. It just looks so much more elegant and nice and a little bit less baby-like. Before I go in the drawers, I did just want to mention these couple things. This is just a little candle that actually smells like baby powder. I don't know if I'll keep this in here. It's just in here right now. And this is the Fisher Price Smart Connect light or something like that. I will turn the lights out and show you how it works. It's basically a sound machine and a little light machine that has all different colors. It's really, really cool. So you just hit that, whoop, hit that button there and then it lights up and makes little sounds. And you can see the animals spread up on the wall. I don't know if this is where I, I will keep it or if I'll move it over to this side so it's like closer to the crib and you can put it on all different settings. Okay, so now I'm just gonna show you what's in all the drawers and how I've organized these. So on this side, I have everything for diaper changing. So right here, so I have wipes and a bunch of newborn diapers and even some one or the size up from newborn. I also have some of the diaper genie refills back in here. Then down here, I have baby lotion, diaper rash lotion, some washcloths. I still need to wash these. These are some cute little, like after the bath sort of clothes. They're all made of terry cloth. This one I showed in my Instagram baby clothing haul. It's from, where was this from? Oh, Spearmint. This is from Spearmint Baby. It's like a little terry cloth wrap. So cute. And then I also have in this little container, which these containers I have throughout all these drawers. I got these at Walmart. I'll link them down below. Best purchase ever. They made organizing these big drawers with little things so much nicer. So in this one, I have all of the little hair brushes. I love these little wooden brushes. They're from Akko Baby. You can get them on Amazon. And then I have like more medical things in here. So this little guy for snot. I have a thermometer. This was the one I did a lot of research on th thermometers and I was considering getting just like the temporal scanner, but it seemed like they were really inaccurate. So I just went with the best rectal thermometer I could find. So it's this one here from Safety First. And then I also have nail clippers and a nail file. And then in the bottom drawer, I have these muslin burp cloths, some extra diapers, and a ton of swaddles. These two swaddles are from Little Miss Dessa. I talked about these in my gender neutral baby clothing haul from Instagram. That video is in my pregnancy playlist if you wanna see that. These are from Aiden and Anais, if that's how you say it. I really like these, these are nice muslin swaddles. 
Then on this side, we have baby clothes. So right here, I have all of my newborn size onesies. I've rolled them up in these containers. So nice, makes it so much easier. I also have newborn little pants and outfits here. This is like zero to three months. This is also zero to three months. Yeah, and that's all I have really for newborn clothes because I don't know if it's a boy or girl and I know myself, I'm gonna wanna get boy clothes or girl clothes. So I've really, limited what I've gotten. So we're gonna have to do a little shopping once baby gets here, but we'll be good for a few weeks. Then in this drawer, we have like nighttime things, nighttime clothes. So these are sleep sacks, like ones that don't have the feet. They're just the arms and then the big sack. These came off of Amazon. And in here are all little footy pajamas. And then I also have more swaddles over here. Then down here we just have some bigger clothes. So these are six month clothes. These are little jeans that are six months. And then these are both three months. I have these little overalls from Oshkosh Bagosh. Is that how you say it? And then a little jean jacket, but these won't fit for a couple months. So the door is out there. Sorry, that's where I have my lights set up. If you turn here, I have the closet. I'll get to that in a second. But I did just want to show you this corner, which you guys are probably familiar with because I've done a couple videos sitting in that chair. This is my nursery chair. I love this chair. This is from Delta Children and it's the Avery Nursery Rocker and Glider. I didn't mention where my lamps were from. This was actually a set, this little lamp and then this big lamp. It's actually from Ashley Furniture. I don't know if that's just specific to where I live or if that's nationwide, but I will try to find them and link them below. And then this rug here, I also got from Ashley Furniture and you can get it online for sure. I did actually just check. It's called the Bianna rug. It's a five by seven and I think it's on sale right now. I love it. It is so soft, so soft. And I think it just goes with the neutral look of the room really nicely. I also have a couple little stuffed animals here. This one my mom gave me at my baby shower and this one is very sentimental because this was my bear growing up. This is Mr. Bear and I actually ended up giving this, I gave Mr. Bear to my sister when I was like too old or whatever and she actually gifted it back to me for baby Drew. I was in tears. <laughs> it was so sweet. So I'm so happy to have Mr. Bear back for baby Drew. This little side table I love. This is from Target and I love how it matches with the gold knobs. I mean the knobs aren't exactly the same but it's the same sort of idea. In here I just have some little books and then this is where we've been keeping all of our pamphlets and things for all the different baby gear that we have like our car seat and stroller. I'm sure I'll make better use of this eventually but that's what we've got going in there. And then I've stacked up some books down here. So these are the books I know I definitely will want to read to baby Drew. I have a bunch more, but these are like my favorites. Okay, so this is the closet. So I have this bookshelf cube storage organizer put in here. And I think I might connect like a tension rod from this to there so that I have some room for hanging. I'll show you what's all in the cubes. In this one here, I have a ton of extra diapers and wipes. In here, I have a bunch of teething stuff and like newborn toys, rattles and things like that. Down here, I have shoes. So these little Converse my sister got. And then I also have these little guys. And then in here, I have two blankets and more sheets. So this is a second sheet of the same exact one I already showed you. And then I also have this sheet from Carousel Designs. I love it, it has little tan bunnies on it. So, so cute. And then up here, this is the monitor that I said I don't really know where to install yet, but this is the one we went with. I don't even think it's actually a baby monitor. It's more of just like a house camera, but I really liked it because you can connect it to your phone. It's from Lay Fun. You can get it on Amazon. And then I have a basket full of more books. For our baby shower, we had people bring books instead of cards, so I have an entire library of books for baby Drew. And then up onto the next shelf, we have this basket, which is filled with my Pottery Barn bath wraps. I got three bath wraps from Pottery Barn. This one's my favorite. It's so fluffy and it's a little bunny. And then I also have a white bunny. It's kind of folded so you can't see it, but that's a white bunny. And then I also have a bear back here. So those will be for after bath time. This is just a bunch of miscellaneous things like a bib, um, some extra little items. I don't really know what I'm going to do with this yet, but 
I'm just keeping it in this organizer that I have. And then up on this shelf, this is all of my breastfeeding stuff. I really actually need to get this out of the packaging and figure out how it works. I went with the Spectra S2 or whatever. This one is currently the top rated breast pump. So this is the one I went with. And then I have nursing pads, bottles, and milk pouches and things like that. And then down here on the floor, I have a humidifier. This is from Levoit. I have this Binksy baby little contraption for the grocery store. I don't know if I'll use this. And then I have my Docatot. This will be just for like playtime. It has a cute little arch. So again, as you enter the room, this is kind of the view you see. And then you step in and turn around and there's the dresser. So that is it, you guys. That is the full nursery tour. I hope that you guys got some good tips or organization or just inspiration for your nursery. I love you all so, so much, and I will see you in my next video. Bye. Today I am doing a nursery room tour, Kip. You're not supposed to be in here. You know you're not supposed to be in here. Mister, you're gonna protect the baby. He always steals toys from that toy basket. This poor child is always going to have its toys stolen from it.